Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars. This is the prequel to Rocket League. It was released in 2008, and a couple YouTubers have made a video on it. But, um, it's kind of a big process. If you want to go and actually play this game, you have to buy a PS3, and if you want to record it, you have to buy a capture card and, like, a HDCP splitter and all of that stuff. But I have figured out how to play this game on PC, so you do not need to go out and spend like 60 to 100 dollars on like a PS3 and stuff. You can literally just sit down and start playing within five minutes. So this is how you do it. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. It'd be really appreciated if you left a like on it, followed my Twitter, my Instagram, and joined my Discord server. All right. So the first step in this tutorial is to go to the link in the description and copy the mega link which I have created. Just paste it into your browser. Basically what I've done is I have put all of the things that you need to get to make this work and put them into one folder so it's a lot easier for you guys. Just press download a zip here. It will start downloading. It's only like 500 megabytes so it shouldn't take that long. Alright when it's done it should download. Just press open folder and as you can see the zip files here. Just extract the zip file. open up the folder and here is all of the stuff that you need the first thing you need to do is go to the rpcs3 folder open it and then run the exe file press i have read the quick starts guide and press do not show again then press continue and it should come up with this menu this is basically where you select all of your games first thing you need to do when you're on this menu is go to file then go to install firmware open it up and then go to the folder which has the ps3 updat.pup file Press open and it will install the firmware. Press OK and it will start compiling some modules. Just wait for that to finish. Once that is done, go up to file again, go to install.pkg. And then as you can see, there is a pkg file, which is the game. Just press open and it will install. Press OK. And then one more, you need to go back to the folder. And then you can see this RAP file. All you need to do with this file is just hold left click to drag it. Open up the RPCS3 app and then drag it on top of the game. And that is all you have to do. Now you can left click on the game, press play, and it will load up. It has to compile some PPU modules first, which will take a couple minutes. So I'm going to do a quick cut and then we'll be back in a minute. Here it is done. Now the game should open. It will come over the loading screen. Be warned that the game will be quite laggy when it first loads because it has to compile all of the shaders. But if you just sit and play for like 5 minutes, then the lag will hopefully go away. As you can see, it comes up with Psyonix, Unreal Technology, and here we are in the game. The controller won't work first, so what you need to do is go back to the RPCS3. What you do when you're back on the app, go up here and press pads, press handlers. There's going to be quite a lot of options. I've got a DualShock 4 controller or a PS4 controller. So just select that, press save, and then load back up the game and your controller should be working and here we are as you can see it is working I am gonna just make a profile here make it called hazard and then accept select it and here we are we are in the game now I can go to new game go to continue to games because I don't want to play the tutorial and we can start playing Select the Octane, select whatever skin you want, and we are in the game. And here we are, as you can see, the audio and stuff is quite laggy while everything's compiling. That'll fix in a little bit. You've just got to give it some time. But uh, yeah, we are playing Sarp on PC. Um... That's pretty much it for the video guys, if you did enjoy then make sure to hit like and get subscribed. In the future I'm going to make a video on doing things like how to change the resolution of this. And um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it, thank you for watching, bye.